This video introduces the Building Materials dialog. Let's open the Building Materials dialog by activating the Options, Element Attributes, Building Materials menu command. The dialog is divided into two main parts. A list of all the building materials available in the current project is listed on the left side of the dialog. The right side of the dialog displays various panels to adjust various settings of building material or materials selected on the left side. The list on the left side has four main columns. The first is the selected column. Let's return to the section view and shift click the composite wall in this view to select it. Let's return to the building materials dialog now. Please notice that all the building materials used by the previously selected composite wall are highlighted and checkmarked in the list on the left side. The second column is the Hatch and Surface column. This displays a small preview icon displaying the preview of the vectorial hatch on the left side and the material preview on the right side. Please watch the corresponding video clips to find out more about the surface attributes of building materials. The third column displays the name of the building material, while the last column displays the intersection priority sliders. These sliders provide graphic feedback about the intersection priority of the given building material. This list can be sorted by any of the four columns by simply clicking the column titles at the top. Clicking the title of the first selected column will display all those building materials at the top that are used in the selected composite structure. By clicking the title of the name column, the building materials can be listed in ascending or descending order. Click the name title of the column to switch between the two listing methods.